Hello, I'm going to talk about climate change. I've been thinking deeply about this subject because uh, I've been working with the spatial analysis and I use a lot of uh, Kriege, non-parameter statistics. I study some anomalies of uh, climate in the northeast of Brazil and uh, my dissertation was about uh, the rainfall distribution in the Amazon Basin. And I have been thinking a lot about this subject and how uh, the uh, issue has been uh, very strong in the media, it's been a kind of a sensationalism. Uh, what I can tell you is that I've been thinking, thinking and my idea is that if you are returning all the CO2, all the carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, we might have some sort of uh, weather change, the climate change, but it is more like a, a small constipation that nature we're going to rearrange because you have to put in your mind that in the beginning of life all carbon was there in the atmosphere or perhaps some part locked as uh, inorganic carbon. So if we increase this carbon we are improving and we still have perfect conditions for life. Life is very strong. If you want to get scared, I have some other issues to make you very scared. But look at this plant here, this eucalyptus. How big it is. We have all these big trees full of carbon. We have carbon in all the other trees. Nobody is going to release this carbon to a atmosphere easily. So all the carbons that are in the plants, are in the animals, some in the soil will always be locked up. So we never, will never go to the same base condition that life started. So if you could do it, the conditions is still good for life. So if you want to get scared, I will, I will make you scared. Because the problem nowadays is not climate change. The problem is human changing. Because I, I wrote an article, uh, this is from uh, Science and Culture, it's a Brazilian uh, journal. This is from my article. And here I'm, I'm talking about the dynamics of nutrients in the food production system. We have here, you can see the title, Nutrient Dynamics Between Food Production and Nutrition. So, I wrote here, this was published in 1999, and I have important information to give you. For example, I mentioned here, we have here at this part, just to here, around 30, 33.4% uh, of Americans were overweight around 1990. This number today, is the ratio of obese people because overweight doubled in the last 15 years. So around 66% of Americans are obese. So uh, the most scary news I can give you is the following. The superpower, the most rich country in the world is sick because you have a population that one third it's obese, two-thirds is overweight. And why is it happening? It's happening because we change the, the system and people are eating more than they need. They accumulate energy in their bodies. We are producing machinery, but people are not working their body. So the problem you, you, you are going to face in the future is how to eat moderately when the food is excessive. How to continue working when the machine can replace us? This is a challenge we have. And if you wanted to help to change the weather, the climate, I have here a, a table. I can give you some hints because if you start making a body exercise and eating a decent diet, when you eat uh, any kind of food that comes straight from the primary source, the cost of energy is one, but if you want to eat milk, it's 5.8. So, all energy you get from milk, we needed to stress the system 5.8 times with energy to produce this milk. 
and you can see eggs and uh, chicken is, is around the 12 and we have uh, here a uh, pork and and the turkey is 18 18 uh, times and and beef is 34 so if you if you want to help to help to decrease the carbon emission you can start doing some body exercise eating a more decent diet that concentrate uh, the energy from the primary source so uh, our agriculture system could reduce three to four five times because we would produce food that feeds straight humans this is something very serious but to finish my message i have to tell you that you shouldn't worry much about the the, the climate change it's more like a small constipation in the system life is very strong we're going to survive for millions and millions of years but those people who are not paying attention, do not doing exercise and eat a, a decent diet, they may have lots of troubles. They are, they should be scared because they are violating their own nature. And nature would get a better balance as human learning about the basic rules of life functioning. That's all for today and bye bye.